we recommend using a headphone for our podcast. We also recommend you turn off the light in your room and be alone. It will give you the best experience through the paranormal universe. In Lydney, a town in the English county Gloucestershire, you can find the small, though imposing St. Brival's Castle. This castle was built somewhere near the year 1100 and has had many owners and purposes. Even King John and King Edward I have used it, but that isn't what makes this castle so special. Almost everybody leaves St. Brival's Castle with a paranormal experience. St. Brival's Castle was built to become the administration office for the sub-municipality the Forest of Dean. It was never used as a defense castle, even though it has fortified features. King John, 1167-1216, used Street. Brival's as a base for hunting in the early 13th century. After his death, the castle was turned into a factory where iron bolts were made which were used in crossbows. King Edward, I needed these bolts for his crusades. He wanted to protect his arsenal and installed the two massive twin-towered gatehouses in 1292. In the 14th and 15th centuries, the castle had multiple owners. It was even forgotten for quite some time and left to decay. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the castle was rediscovered and became a prison. King John's former bedroom, the solar room, was used as a courtroom. One can still find a stone at the castle which shows marks of swords and axes. Yes, this stone was used to relieve people of their heads. The prison was closed due to many local riots. In the 20th century, the castle was completely renovated. In 1948, St. Brival's took on its new and current function, that of a youth hostel. St. Brival's castle is very haunted. There have been claims of ghostly activity in almost every room. You'd have to be quite brave to spend the night here. The former bedroom of King John, the solar room, is haunted by a crying baby. During the renovation of the ceiling, a mummified baby wrapped in a piece of cloth dropped down. No one knows whose baby this was and why it was hidden here. The child was given a proper funeral, but the crying never stopped. In the castle keep area, a fully harnessed knight is seen. The knight seems very real and has been mistaken for entertainment because of this. He doesn't mean any harm. All he does is stand in the corner of the room and stare at you. His harness glitters when the moonlight hits it and he disappears within the blink of an eye. Strange noises, like rolling marbles, muttering, humming, and crashing sounds are heard in the hanging room. This used to be the place where prisoners would spend their last hours before being put to death. All those emotions seem to have been sucked into its walls. A big, black mass is often seen at the door and some people claim being pushed into this room. There are also claims of people who have felt unseen hands around their throats. The prison room is no better. A real poltergeist is active here. Furniture moves across significant distances when no one is around. Footsteps and voices are heard, and people get grabbed by invisible hands. Sometimes a terrifying growl is heard. The growl might come from a huge black ghost dog that roams this part of the castle. Several dark figures have been seen at the chaplain's room and there are reports of them blocking the door which is the only way out of the room. People also see strange flashes of light and big orbs here. People say they are being touched when they're in the room by themselves. The beds often move, and people see the bed sheets wrinkle as if somebody's sitting on the edge of it. Many people experience feeling dizzy in the constable's room and even feel as if they're being choked. Strange rustling sounds are heard and there are complaints of a sudden putrid smell. The door to this room opened so violently once that it flew out of its hinges. The beds in this room tend to vibrate from time to time. The oubliette room thanks its name because an oubliette was found under the rug in this room. An oubliette, French, is a small dungeon in the ground where prisoners would be thrown into. To oublier means to forget and this was exactly what happened to the prisoners down there, they were simply forgotten. An oubliette is quite deep so one would break a bone or two. No water nor food was given, so the person would die a slow and painful death. 
In this room sits a bed which is nicknamed the scary bed. People have been roughly shaken in it and bed sheets have been pulled off violently. Some have also been startled in the middle of the night by a woman who screams blood curdling next to them. The state apartment is the castle's oldest part, which is divided into multiple, smaller areas. Reports of scratching sounds and sounds of footsteps are claimed numerous times. Not to mention the loud banging on the walls. These sounds are probably caused by the ghost of a young girl that is often seen wearing a white dress. Violin music is also heard frequently when nobody is around as well as arguing disembodied voices. The porter's lodge is located behind the kitchen. A gentleman once claimed that he was pinned down on his bed. A dark, misty figure has been seen standing next to the fireplace and near the doorway. Dragging sounds are a common phenomenon here as well as a crying child. Thank you for watching. We upload new episodes every other day. Subscribe to join the haunted journey.